Hi guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School with another Photoshop video tutorial. I'm a little bit under the weather today, but the morale is still good. I'm on my way to Cancun to break this cold and have a little tequila. All right, now, in this video tutorial, uh, this was actually a request from quite a few of you after seeing my tutorial on how to create a web photo gallery with Lightroom. And many of you who don't use Lightroom wanted to know if it was possible to do this in Photoshop. And my answer to this is, yes, you can. And this is what I'll be showing you today, how to do a web photo gallery in Photoshop. It's actually quite easy, just almost as easy as in Lightroom. Now, before we even go into Photoshop, there is a couple of things you need to create uh, before. First of all, you need to put all your images that you want in your gallery in a specific folder. This is what I've done here, called it test. And then you need to create another folder outside of that main folder. It can't be a subfolder inside it, all right? Uh, it has to be outside your source folder. So your destination folder has to be uh, somewhere else. And you need to create that folder. So I created one called Test Gallery. Now, this is the name that'll show up. This is actually the folder you'll be uploading to the web. So it's important that you keep the name concise and without any weird symbols that the server won't recognize, like uh, uh, French accents or spaces or stuff like that. So I put a hyphen in between both so that there isn't a space. Now, once you've created those two things, you're ready to create your gallery. Let's go into Photoshop. Now, if you saw my video on batch processing, this will be very familiar to you. First thing we need to do is go into File, Automate. Batch was the first one on top. We just need to continue down the line. And there's one called Web Photo Gallery. Let's click on that. Brings up this dialog box. Uh, when we look at the, the first drop-down menu, these are your template options. You've got 20 of them to choose from. Uh, most of them are HTML-based, and you've got two that are Flash-based. I went through them when I was using them before Lightroom, and my favorite was the Gallery 2, Flash Gallery 2, so we'll use this one as a default. The next line is your email. If you want people to have access to your email, uh, one click to open their their email client, you can do that or not. Going into the source image box, you need to select where the source folder is. So I'll do that right now. And there it is, test, and the destination. Test gallery. Now, you can, in the source folder, you can click include all subfolders as well. So if you have subfolders and you want them in, you can click that. I usually create the, a folder specifically for a web gallery, so I don't have subfolders, so it's never ticked. It's up to you. Going into the options uh, box below, if we look at the first one is general. So do you want the extensions to be HTM or HTML? It's up to you. The rest of the information I always uh, leave unticked. Um, I have no clue what UTF-8 encoding is, so I don't touch it. Going into the banner, now that's what's going to be on top of your gallery. You can give it a title, put your name, if you want to put a phone, phone number, uh, if you want to put a date. I don't like putting a date, so I'll remove that. Going into the large images, you can select small, medium, large, or custom. I like large, it's 450 pixels. And constrained proportions will be on both sides. So uh, my images, whether they're on width or height, they'll be 450 pixels on the long side. You can choose width or height if you only want one of the two to be affected. The quality will be, for me, six is good enough. It's a good. It, it still shows really well on, on the web. And it, the files aren't too big. Now, if you want to add your file name or description or a title, you can click on that. And I'll show you where to go to add title and descriptions uh, afterwards. Now, the next one is the thumbnails. Now, depending on which template you choose, some areas will be grayed out, not just in the thumbnails, a little bit everywhere. In some templates, you might not even have a choice of colors. But uh, for example, in the Flash one, you, you can only choose the size of your thumbnails. You can't really customize the, the borders of around them and whatnot. But that doesn't really matter for me. So I like to choose medium. 75 pixels is good for a thumbnail for me. Here's where you can choose the colors for your um, template. I already chose my colors. I like, uh, since this is black and white images, I kept the, the theme black and white. And you can just click on any one and choose your color or add a color number, whatever you want. 
And going into security, if you want to add a watermark to your image, this is where you do it. You can either not put one, custom text, you can have the file name show up, a copyright, the description, credits, title, whatever you want. I like custom. I like putting my name down. Um, Arial, 18 points, good. Black is all right. If not, I can change my color with the color picker here. And 25% opacity, let's try that. And position, I like it centered. If not, you can go with different options here. And you can even rotate it, 45 degrees or 90 degrees, either way. And once you've done that, all you need to do is click OK. And you'll see the magic being per performed by Photoshop. Now, once that's done, your web browser, your default web browser will open, and your gallery will show up. In my case, I need to upgrade my Flash player. So for the meantime, let me just click on this. And there's our web gallery. You can see the watermark down here. It's maybe a little bit, bit too small. I could go back and change it. Uh, if you click on the thumbnails, you can see the gallery, how it works in Flash. So it's a pretty cool gallery. And this is how it's done. I hope you, you enjoyed this tutorial. Oh yeah, before, I promised you I'd show you where to put uh, uh, image title and description. Just go into File. Actually, I have to open an image for this to work. So let me just open this image here that I used on my blog not too long ago. File, File Info. And here you have the document title. This is where your title would be. And the description field is right down here. So if you want to add a, a specific description to your image that you want people to see, put it there and tick the box. And voila. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful tutorial on how to create a web photo gallery in Photoshop. This is Yannick Chauvet signing out and seeing you next time. Bye-bye.